page 107 chapter 5 trees by emily dickinson 1830 to 1886 emily dickinson is regarded as one of america's quintessential poets of the 19th century she lived an introverted and hermetic life and published very few of her poems in her lifetime. Her output, 1,789 poems in all, were published posthumously. Her poetry is characterized by unconventional capitalization and extensive use of dashes, along with unusual imagery and lyric style. The trees like tassels hit and swung there seemed to rise a tune from miniature creatures accompanying the sun. Far psalteries of summer, enamouring the ear, they never yet did satisfy, remotest, when most fair, the sun shone whole at intervals, then half, then utter hid, as if himself were optional, and had estates of cloud, sufficient to enfold him eternally from view, except it were a whim of his to let the orchards grow. Page 108 A bird sat careless on the fence, one gossiped in the lane, on silver matters charmed a snake, just winding round a stone. Bright flowers slit a calyx and soared upon a stem, like hindered flags, sweet hoisted with spices in the hem. Twas more, I cannot mention, how mean to those that see Van Dyck's delineation of nature's summer day. Responding to the poem, one. What imagery does the poet use to delineate summer's day more picturesquely than any painter could? 2. What do you understand by soul trees of summer? 3. In which lines are creatures attributed with human qualities? How does this add to the beauty of the summer's day? 4. How would you explain the image of the hindered flags? 5. Why are the pronouns referring to the sun capitalized? 6. Give examples from the poem to show that great poetry is a result of close observation of natural phenomena. Language study You came across dulcimer in the poem Kubla Khan. Did you note down psaltery as another musical instrument? They are very similar. Look up the illustrations for the two in an illustrated dictionary. Find out in what ways they are different from one another. Suggested reading The Complete Poems of Emily Dickinson 